My sermon writing process for the High Holy Days is actually a 12-month process. He goes through the same exact process every year. Procrastinating and writing a little, procrastinating and writing a little. Cleaning out the garage. Pacing and writing a little. Spraying down the yard. Walking the dogs and writing a little. Get a hotel room. Procrastinating some more. It's hard to live through this. It's, it's a very painful process for me. Because he's just crazy this time of year. Then at a certain point, I'll have a draft which I feel is good enough to show to Betsy. She's always the first one to see them. My role is mainly to listen to him complain and then read the sermon. For example, the worst thing she could say is, it's good. It's really good. What do you mean? It's not, it's not great? Good to me means just terrible. Just, you know, enough. <laughs> I'm not the easiest person <laughs> to live with when it comes to High Holy Day sermons.